pop your opponent with easy completions with this pass play that complements an excellent running game. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, we're going to be jumping back into the, play, the Bears playbook, and we're going to be using the wing tight formation, the gun wing tight formation. And this particular play is going to be one of our hot audibles. I like this because I can attack the flats, I can attack the outside, and I got a nice little uh, 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 stick and go and up uh, out and up uh, route that I can hit my opponent right down the seam. You can also find this in the Panthers and the Chiefs. So just want to uh, let you guys know about this. So let's go ahead and jump into the play. All right, so this is going to be one of our base audibles. It's going to be the stick and knot. All right, so against man blitzes, uh, really going to make one read, and we're going to go and throw the ball in the opposite direction. So we're going to be looking at Safarian Jenkins, and uh, if a defender actually floats out uh, to his route uh, or plays flat or down towards his route, we're going to go ahead and uh, throw it to the opposite side pretty much deliberately, which would be Moncrief. So defender actually floats out. We're just going to go ahead and just do a nice little pass lead down and away. You'll be able to go ahead and pick up an easy completion against a man blitz. So we're just going to slant this guy up. Once again, the defender actually falls out. So we're just going to go ahead and hit that, that, that slant on the back end side. Twos, uh, we're still going to give the same kind of a setup. We're going to go ahead and take our backside receiver, Makarif, and actually put him on a slant. And we're going to see if a defender actually falls out. If not, we're just going to go ahead and pop that back sli backside slant. So this the slant comp uh, complement on the back end side is, is going to be uh, where we're going to go ahead and pop our opponent uh, like that. Just go ahead and just pop it very easy. That's where we're going to be going with the ball majority of the time. What about cover three is that uh, that little wheel route by Safarian Jenkins on the right-hand side will open up, and you can easy get a, easy get a completion uh, with that against a guy that likes to spam a lot of cover three. It just it seems to open up a lot unless he's using hard flats or something. So let's just go ahead and watch that guy actually comes out. So now I've can I can go ahead and go back to that uh, that in route or that, that slant route on the back end side. Now another area of the field that you can pop is going to be Paul's route and the trick to it is actually watching the defender. Once the defender bites down on an underneath route, that's when you actually pop it. So he bites and there is your completion right there. So uh, I'll just show you an instant replay on, on how you can get this ball in the lane uh, based on the complement of a route. So uh, we're really watching this guy right here. And what's going to happen, as soon as he breaks the play, it gets past that defender, the defender bites down, and I'm just going to get rid of the ball. I, I can I can pretty much anticipate that's going to be the area. So you got you got pretty much a high low type situation where this guy's actually going to be low. If he if he stays high, he's going to float up with him. If not, you can go high low and you'll be able to squeeze that ball in for an easy completion. And as you can see right there, that's a good 25 yard gainer that you're picking up with the slant uh, with that uh, out and up with a cover four shell. You're going to be able to go ahead and get a one-on-one -on -one opportunity uh, up top with that out and up, and you can take that house. So that's something you want to look to. But a lot of the other routes with cover four actually get, get bottled up uh, with this uh, particular play. Uh, you could probably go ahead and hit that slant route, but as you can see, the defender's in the area. So uh, if you got a guy that's spamming a lot of cover four, this might not be the best play to jump into. But definitely cover three, cover two, uh, and, and basically any kind of man coverage, you'll be able to e eat your opponent up. So once again, my subscribers, Thanks for your support, guys. If you like these type of tips, make sure you hit the, the like button. And uh, until next time, guys, thanks.